to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Who is to the glory? The Lord. his wisdom not without worship not without invoking his presence in total surrender you came to church We worship you. Hallelujah. This is your house. Your talking about the building I'm talking about your life I am your house I'm your I welcome you Lord I welcome you I am your house your Adonai, we thank you. We worship the Lamb of God. We worship the Lord of glory. Who can heal but you? Who can lift but you? Who can anoint, who can exalt but you?
I love you, Lord. Go ahead and worship, don't be tired. And I leave my voice to worship you, oh my soul. Rejoice, joy, take joy, my King, in what you give. Let it be a sweet, sweet time in your ears. Find your own song, find your own words. Let him hear you tonight. Let him hear you worship tonight. Some of you, this is a night of surrender for you. Some of you, this is a night where you take all the luggages and all the loads and just lay it down. You're not wasting your time. The moments invested in worship will translate into impartations, into liftings. It's for you, Lord Jesus. Take my life, take every burden, take every pain. My God, I sense such an intense presence of the Holy Spirit in this place. It's a call to worship. Many of you, even in this atmosphere, you will find out that miracles are already happening. That faith is rising from within your spirit. For the way of the Lord is the way of wisdom. I choose the way of the Lord. The superiority of his way. Whoever knew that a shout could bring a fence city down. For the way of the Lord is the way of wisdom. I choose the way of the Lord. Whoever knew that a rod could part the Red Sea, heater and teeter, and allow God's people to walk through. For the way of the Lord is the way of wisdom. I choose the way of the Lord. Whoever knew that prayer and singing aloud could save Paul and Silas that all doors can open not at the instance of physical strength but prayer and praise for the way of the Lord is the way of wisdom I choose the way of the Lord I believe that many of us here under this intense atmosphere are receiving all kinds of impartations. Some of you are ministers. The Lord is calling you to deeper dimensions of power. You cannot serve his purposes in the end time this way. You need a fresh engracing. Affect my life, breathe on me. Lord, I look to you for life. Affect my life, breathe on me. I look to you for life. Affect my life, breathe on me. Lord, I look to you for life. Affect my life, breathe on me. Affect my life, breathe on me. Lord, I look to you for life. I 
thanks my life breathe on me Take my body, my soul, my spirit. Breathe on me, breathe on me, Lord. Take my body, my soul, my spirit. Breathe on me. And when you have no words again, here's what you say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definite tonight go ahead ask him for something very definite tonight ask him because be fool the Lord is saying even now I am bringing restoration 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 that grace is coming heavy on someone restoration the lord is drawing back to your life the things that have left you did the bones in the valley of ezekiel not come back again the lord is saying i'm putting back in order i'm putting back in order everything that has left your life everything that is in disalignment tonight it is coming back to order coming back to order families are coming back to order families that have been decades apart there is an anointing in this place right now bringing things to order i prophesied as i was commanded and there was bones the bones began to come financial bones are coming relational bones are coming career bones are coming ministerial bones from wherever they are coming bone to his bone 
bone to his bone. Hallelujah. Now I'm sensing there is, please listen, there is a very strong anointing in this place right now for creative miracles. Very strong anointing for creative miracles. Whether it is a problem with your body, a problem with your bone, you're on wheelchairs, you're on a crutch, some sort of aid, anything at all, organ failure. I sense very strongly there is this anointing right now. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, inside and outside, you came for a miracle service. Right now, miracles are happening. I'm stretching my hands. Please, when you identify those people, let them check themselves right now. If you check yourself and find out that something is happening to you, I want you to run to the front right now. There are miracles. I'm sensing very strong miracles, creative miracles, organs that have been missing, some organs that have been removed are being replaced by the Spirit of the Living God. Supernatural miracles are happening, even by the Spirit of God. Supernatural miracles are happening. And I'm sensing there is a strong anointing for restoration of hearing. There are people who may be deaf completely or partially deaf, deaf in one side of your ears. It doesn't matter where. But in the name of Jesus, I'm declaring healing right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit, such a strong, I declare to you by the spirit of faith, be healed in the name of Jesus. And God is doing something marvelous as miracles are happening. Walk, my dear, don't be afraid. Let the power of God touch your limbs right now. Look at me, young lady, look at me. Which of the legs? By the power that raised Christ from the dead, something is happening to you. I'm seeing like fire just passing through you. First, take it easy. Any other person with your crutch or something, just lift it up. Lift it up right now and try walking. Lift it up right now. Whether you are inside, whether you are outside, I want you to lift it up in the name of Jesus Christ. Lift it up right now. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, I'm seeing the vision of a woman who came here with a sick child. There's another wheelchair there. Come, walk. Come. 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 Walk. Walk, sir. Lift it up. Walk. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. If there's any other wheelchair, lift it up or, or crutch or whatever, lift it up. In the name of Jesus, there is a woman who came here with a child, a sick child. Your child? What is wrong with the child? Come. How old is your child? Huh? Yeah, four months. What's his name? Her name is Sochine. Oh, her name. Is a she. Can I pray for her? Yes, you can. Father, in the name of Jesus, I saw this in my vision and I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit. You can even see she had to pull up the clothes of the child. No shadow you will light up, mountain you will climb up, calling after me. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be miracles right now. Please help her in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, help her by the power of the Holy Spirit. There's a miracle here. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be a supernatural miracle by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'm seeing someone, you cannot lift your hand. I don't know if the hand is broken 
fractured or or maybe it's just not working please lift it now lift it now there's someone you cannot lift your hand check yourself and come now miracles are happening here lift it now look at that lift it don't worry don't be afraid just just do what i'm asking you to do lift it check yourself you cannot lift your hand i'm seeing this by the spirit and there are miracles that are happening we're going to be seated shortly but you couldn't lift your hands please help them so they are not to look at this let her come lift it up madam lift it up don't be afraid are you seeing what god is doing lift it up looks like a stroke or something koinonia is this how you celebrate miracles hallelujah he could not walk before walk sir go do work now he's walking. oh he came here on a stretcher yes sir walk this is the son that brought him walk there is power in the name of jesus there is power in the name of jesus there is power in the name how long how long i left him i went to my room the next day he could not talk he could not stand he could not do so you see, like come, let him come you can see that this is please let him come you can see that this is not sickness this is witchcraft that you get up in the morning and the man could not help you he is saying something given no it could not do anything like a dead person for close to two months he was he was on the how did it completely could not walk completely walk. could not walk could not do daddy anything on his own. you believe in jesus run don't just walk run don't worry go ahead from from you, you could not you couldn't your, raise his hand but now he can do it very well lift it down up down up down the lord heal and perfect her in jesus name what happened to him he said he has swollen leg that he couldn't stand but, but you could, now he could you, stand. you could not stand give him the mic whether english whatever language go ahead i cannot but I cannot walk, I can, and then I cannot even... I what's, force, what's wrong with them? My, Is that a miracle? Force. What happened to him? If your child has a problem, you should bring it forward. What is wrong with him? He cannot speak and he can't stand straight. Okay, we're going to pray for them. He cannot stand straight. Yes, Hold on, sir. just a moment. marvelous can you hear me in the name of jesus marvelous look at me by the power that raised christ from the dead two of you don't cry come son look at me look at me walk come follow me come 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 in the name of jesus christ now you see let me tell you something if you think miracles are stage managed please think again not everybody you can see these kinds of situations people who just come most of these things listen to me most of these situations are not medical conditions this is witchcraft are we together who is miracle miracle i'm hearing the name miracle who is miracle What's his name? His name is Miracle. Are you together? Ah? Huh? My hand has been stiff for some time. Your hand has been stiff? Yes. 
Madam, say in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I receive life. I receive to life these hands. To this hand. Right now. Right do now. Do everything I ask you to do. Look at me. Lift it up. Down. Lift it up. Down. Lift it up. Down. Lift two of them up. Down. Lift it up. Lift it up. Down. Lift it up. Down. Listen. You see, brothers and sisters, let me teach you something. These things are not the doing of men. Once the anointing and the grace for certain dimensions are there, you must open up your heart and believe. This is unto the glory of the king. It's not just to show that a man is powerful. Are we together now? There are things that money cannot buy. I'll pray for you. Please, if I don't mention your case, don't come out. Look at this boy's hand. Look at this. You can see that this is this is a demonic thing. What? Where are you coming from? What happened to him? It's fire, oil. Oil poured on him. Yes. What's your name? Miracle. Oh, you are the miracle. Yes, sir. And it has refused to heal. Yes. Huh. There is somebody here who has like an ulcer, a severe wound on your leg that has refused to heal. Please come quickly. Just that person. Come. Come. I just want to minister to that person. This is what I'm seeing in my vision. In the name of Jesus, my friend, let there be healing over this demonic condition. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Complete healing. In Jesus' name. Where is that person? Is there someone like that? Hold on, please. Hold on. Where is it? I've got a message from the Lord. Hallelujah. A message unto you I bring. How long has this been, madam? How long? One year. One year. And, it, and it, what is has refused to heal? Who else has that situation? There's someone with that condition. I mean, it, it like like a wound, like an ulcer. I'm, I'm not talking of a small wound that you just injured yourself, maybe playing football. A serious wound that is a demonic situation. This is what I'm seeing. Please help us. Is this mic working? Or look for another one, please. I've had this for getting to maybe um, 28 years. 28 years. What is that? I don't know. Like, I have no idea. It's just been there and it won't go. You can't walk? No, I can walk, but it's like, it's just been on my leg. Like, it won't go. The, the doctors have tried and I've just had it like that. And I don't know how it appeared. Well... I'll pray for you, but this is not relief. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, I'll pray for all of you. Huh? Madam? This thing. Help her. Is there, who is holding the mic? Please, you hold it. These gentlemen are not doing a good job here, please. I knew myself. I grew up with this. She grew up with this challenge. Don't cry. Oh, you grew up with this. It smells, it has refused to be. It clean. smells. Oh, look at a wonderful lady like this. And you can see how demonic and wicked the devil is. What do you mean it smells? At times the most blinks out cause on it. At times I don't go away from it. Hold my hands, my dear. Hmm. Let it be over now. Yeah. By the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, look what is happening to her. I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, I'm seeing something come out of you. In the name of Jesus, let it leave you forever. It's a very deep, I can see it almost like it's rotting. Now, be gone. In the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, let it be gone forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, let it be gone right now. This demonic thing, it will go back to hell where it came from. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
and for every healing and every miracle here who is this gentleman said for 12 years now for 12 years 12 years what is wrong oh can you can you see the legs it has refused to heal have you gone to the hospital yes Where are you from? From Cross River State. Cross River. And you can walk with it? Yes, but it's painful. But it's painful. Yes. Can I pray for you? You see, the church is a solution center. Yes. Out of him now. Yes. Out. Yes. My friend, the name, stand up run go just do what i'm asking you to do look at this any pain check yourself look at he's stamping this now you see let me tell you this most i'm going to be praying right now do you know do you know the reason why now i've heard people say a lot of things I'm, I'm not here to create um i love the body of christ and we are sent to the body i'm not one person who tears down people but i have respectfully speaking a word of advice generally for ministers of the gospel and i say this by the privilege of the election of grace whatever you do not understand sustain the intelligence to stay where you are called rather than speaking in an unwise way over what you do not understand you see the bible says we see in part and we prophesy in part are we together now and there are many people who for instance and i say that i have profound respect for the body of christ everyone fathers of faith contemporaries mentees and sons subordinates everyone but we have to be careful we 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 cannot carry the limit of our spiritual understanding and make that the standard for the body of christ we are going to destroy the body of christ we must all together as men of god admit that we are still students in the school of the spirit and let's be careful so that what you criticize today may not be what you need tomorrow are we together and one of those issues is this issue of the influence of spirits over people now there's no time tonight to begin to teach you the operation of demons and why they seem to be responsible for this if you want to know why many cases of sickness are in the earth you have to know who demons are and how they came are we together now demons are not fallen angels no fallen angels are not demons no are we together now yes fallen angels are not demon spirits demon spirits listen to me the bible says when these fallen angels came the bible says they had intercourse with the daughters of men is that true and they gave birth to a species of people that were half men and half something else after the flood of noah everything that was alive died now when human beings die those who are righteous go to heaven is that true those who are unrighteous they go to hell is that true these fallen angels who perform this treason and sin by sleeping with the daughters of men leaving their original estate the bible tells us they have been bound in everlasting chains they are alive but they are not in this location are we together now that means it is not necessarily them afflicting people now these disembodied spirits that were the products of these fallen angels and women when they die where do they go to because they can't go to heaven they can't go to hell they are still rotating around the earth these are the spirits that need human bodies to function are you seeing that now and they are very old they are not new there is none being created and new they have been very old 
they are so in need of bodies that a legion could manage one body the madman in gadara one legion they were crying for accommodation when jesus christ was going to rebuke them they prayed and they said now you want to inconvenience us and they had to make do with pigs and make people to lose their businesses demon spirits can and do find access to the bodies of men it is possible for multiple spirits to coexist in the bodies of an individual i'm saying this because behind many of the challenges of people like you'll be seeing now are demon spirits now that does not mean the people are possessed if they are in christ and they are believers possession is not the only the only demonic influence that spirits can have over people there is manipulation and control there is witchcraft there is deception there is possession possession is the highest what's the drug for malaria cannot solve it now but when a demon spirit gets involved with that headache you can say my head my head and still die that one is not headache again but the bible says wherefore god has so highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name. some of the miracles here that you see and you know sometimes we have to be careful to not commonize miracles and the power of god you can see and hear certain things too frequent that you just laugh over it every manifestation of the power of god is proof that he's alive and let me tell you one thing i know with the holy spirit when you pay attention to him and refuse to get familiar with him you will see more of his power and his grace in ever increasing dimensions are we together therefore we pray right now that every miracle and everything that has happened here whether healing have, have i prayed please come darling have i prayed anyone who have not prayed for let me just touch them i decree and declare let there be perfection over them in the name of jesus christ supernatural perfection i will pray for them both of them right now in the name of jesus christ perfection over these legs now in the name of jesus christ i bring you life i bring you healing i bring you life even by the power of the holy spirit in the name of jesus christ baba healing for you forever my dear sister this healing remains permanent in jesus name let's celebrate jesus Hallelujah. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray, pray, pray for your destiny. Salas kade bash kana kata branda kate katos. Kate branda kata pakotos koto pray kate kene kata. The face of development, Lord, grant me the discipline.